In the heart of the neighborhood where Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight disappeared, there are signs that the young women are woven into the fabric of this community. A handwritten thank you here at 105th and Lorraine on a poll that for so many years featured the faces of Amanda and Gina. Lynette Taylor, like countless others here, prayed for their return. You could tell by the look on their, on their face that they really appreciated the support you know, and, and, and Ohio is a good place to live. A community and a city that has given from its heart to the Cleveland Courage Fund. Chris Kelly is co-advisor of that fund. I picked up a jar of change um, uh, as part of, that was contributed, literally, uh, that had to be taken by the fund over to the bank and counted. Um, some of it's 50 cents, 75 cents. Since the three women released this YouTube video saying thank you, roughly $30,000 has poured in in just hours. They are proceeding well in their recovery, I think it's fair to say. They're incredibly grateful people to this community. Uh, they're very strong and resilient human beings. They really are. And back in the neighborhood where people held on to hope that the women would someday come back, relief that the next chapter has now begun.